Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arashok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your Arashok. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Illustrious <clears throat> Arashak, I am here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all. Right? Uh, yes, yes, yes they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Say something. I don't care about your deal. I was hired to hunt outcasts, and I want my reward. This great undertaking was, uh, undertook at my behest after diligent planning. You asked for the Gatlock and were refused, so you invented a task and then paid to have it done. You failed your own goal. You have proved your wealth not worth, and Kunari still owe you nothing. I did his dirty work. That debt stands. Does it, Dwarf? You said yourself there was no bargain. I'm not getting a sodding thing out of this. This human did what you could not, something I did not expect of any outsider, and you have involved me. If you made a bargain for the Tal Vashoth, that debt for their lives will be honored. It's not at all. Take your coin, take whatever. Hornhead oxmen and mongrel dawn lords, suck your own powder and blow your head off, sod it. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. Why do you bother me, human? The dwarf paid you. There is no more. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. If you despise this place, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order. No goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? Why would anyone want to change it? You... like it? <laughs> it's a city of people living their lives, for good or ill. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. You allow chaos for good or ill, but one is clearly superior. Can you see how that certainty would benefit this whole city? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. I suspect we are done, human. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. 
Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. How many Kunari have you lost to the Tal Bashar? None. That seems unlikely. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Tal Bashar who have lost themselves. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kuhn is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. Can you tell me about the other two parts? No. Then we can learn nothing. I am no more equipped to explain than you are to understand. Ari Shock, Ari Gaina, Ari Kuhn. Pillars of the Kunari, of the nation that must be. There is but one way to know these things, human. And I have yet to decide if it must be done. He reminds me of Sten so much, but not at the same time. At least Sten had a little bit of warmth to him underneath all that harshness. You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. Okay, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Farewell. Panahedan, human. Here, miss. Word is, you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Hmm. Another sad Lowtown tale in the making. As if we needed another. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. A foolish risk in Lowtown. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business? You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Varnell! Why is a Templar guarding her? Is this a setup? I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. What do you know? I was told my old friend Thrask was advising you folks to seek me out. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now. There's not much I can do for you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Is I'm it sorry, true I give aid to apostates the same thing fleeing again. the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. <sighs> retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in a choke damp. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the Order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. 
magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke, though. Not a silver on him. I helped one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. You abandoned him? I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. It's cozy. And your fairy friends are charming. Oh, are the rats back? I thought I'd found all their holes. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. Oh, we got Raymond's. Uh, if this is what you wanted, then I'm glad I could be of service. I can't say that I like Kirkwall, but I'm glad to be here. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. You seem to be getting the hang of it already. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone has jumped outside your door, and that's exciting? It must be the alien age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get... lost. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful. Even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. Do you miss the Dalish? I miss Haren Pival's stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. Think of it like a game. You can pick up all the things people drop and overlook. Maybe count them. <laughs> I think they mostly drop garbage. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend, to be controlled by you. 
Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's dead. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. I don't want to annoy Bethany by asking her about the circle, because we know her feelings on it. Imagine if we'd grown up here, been nobility, had grandparents who bought us liege and silk dresses with lace petticoats. Father was a good man, but Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. I'm so very tired of running. I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved father. I guess I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage, I used to wish I had just been taken by the circle, like our cousins. I could have been the hero of Ferelden. Maybe then mother would have stopped second guessing herself. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Well, my helpful associate from the streets. You took the canary from the city? Without incident? I think the incident was rather your idea. Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. 
that might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Katojan killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug, you are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. Hmm. She was trying to set it up so it would cause um, friction, so that the the Chantry would have to act against Canari. Mm, choices here. I'm not too sure what I want to do here. Um, I don't like her particularly very much, so um, you've made an enemy. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. <laughs> 